Good afternoon. Sorry for uh, the delayed uh, start for us, and I'm sure, uh, like Tony mentioned, all of you are uh, quite hungry and itching to go back and have something. Um, so I'm not going to take a lot of time. Um, morning session actually covered quite a lot about uh, technology, quite a lot about uh, customers and uh, customer experience. Um, as a brand, we are, uh, we are customers as well. At the same time, we are suppliers as well. We are customers to people who supplies the product, our supply chain partners, and uh, we are suppliers to some of our wholesalers and distributors and also our consumers. So that poses a kind of a unique uh, opportunity and a challenge for us in terms of uh, making sure that uh, on one hand, our customers are satisfied, our consumers are satisfied with the product that they're getting. On the other hand, also make sure that the supply chain partners are happy enough and they work not only for uh, the profitability of uh, their own companies, but also the profitability of the entire uh, network of associations, starting from the supply chain partners all the way up to the final consumer. So I'm going to tell you a small story about uh, how you can make the whole supply chain, which is actually the real world. You know, having a consumer is one thing. Ability to project everything on a digital or a, through information is another thing. But at the end of the day, if the, if the product doesn't reach the customer at the right time, with the right quality, which the person is able to enjoy, then obviously all the entire whole process of uh, investing in uh, information technology as well as terms of uh, you know, consumer experience fails. So this is a story about uh, Columbia Sportswear uh, along with GT Nexus. Uh, before, before I actually talk about what we did and how did we make the supply chain project successful, I just want to give you a context of the business environment in which we, we operate. So Columbia is a global leader uh, focusing around outdoor uh, products. Um, we have four brands. We have uh, Columbia Sportswear, which is a which is a parent brand. Along with that, we have uh, Mountain Hardware, which is uh, focusing around uh, all the activities related to mountains, starting from skiing, the mountaineering, and all those things. We have Montreal, which is another brand which is focusing around trail running. And uh, we have uh, Sorel, which is a snowwear brand, predominantly focused around women. Just to give you the context of our complexity in the supply chain. This is our consumer base, our customer base. We operate in 105 countries. We, we operate in uh, more than 14,000 uh, you know, outlets where our, our product is sold. Um, we have three different models to get our product to the customers, consumers, final consumers. One is direct sales where we have our own uh, retail uh, and also e-marketing. We have international distributions in, in international, international distributors where we supply to the distributors who actually supply to our customers. We also have direct sales, which essentially means that we are, uh, uh, we are the wholesale.